Hello and welcome to the Tarka Zone. It's a uh, patch day. It's 12-7 uh, of 2016. And we're going to be talking about the game of Black Desert Online. And I wanted to do this quick video for you folks. For those people who watch my videos at work during their break or lunch time. And are looking for something to do before they go home and play this, this game. Today they've been incorporated a patch that seems to fail around the 70% mark. It's looking for a file that doesn't exist. It tells you an error message and then you have to refresh the screen and you have to start the download process over. This is my third attempt to download this patch. I believe there's a file error on their end. It's either they don't want you to have this patch or they don't realize this is happening and they just got to fix something. I'm not quite sure, but if you get home from work today or you're planning on playing the game in a few hours, let's hope that they get this fixed. Well, I also want to talk about a few other things with Black Desert Online today while we're watching this red bar go across the screen, and I won't bore you too much. This is going to be a quick video. I do want to tell you that the value pack bidding buying system is broken. For someone like me that doesn't really want to pay for a subscription to get that bonus, this game is going to be its nail in this coffin if I can't buy value packs. Because for me, that's how I moved forward with Arcage. It's how I've played most of my subscript, not even subscription based, but you know, value pack type things based video games where you can go to the auction house. Oh, I can buy that. Some other player paid $15 for it, put it on the auction house. I used in game credit to buy it, and the world's happy. Everybody's happy. It moves on. I have attempted to buy, and last night, I've been counting them, I hit 200 attempts to buy a value pack off the marketplace and failed 200 times, if that tells you how broken it is. Now, I even went to forums, I went to YouTube videos to find out what I needed to do. It, was I doing the bidding process wrong? Some people say, hey, get a stopwatch out and get to the 29th second and then hit bid. Some people say, no, you got to hit bid right as it comes in. I tried it all. I have done everything I, I, I can to try to buy a value pack off the auction house. Some other, you know, some other person said, oh, they're not available. That the game guys are eating them up. That they have a code in the marketplace where the actual game gods are buying them out before players can. This allows them to give the $10 million, because that's what they go for, to the person who paid for it where real money, and then it forces the rest of the population to have to eventually pay real money because they're just get, taking real money that you're giving them and giving you $10 million silver. And it's that's, way, that's how they're doing it right now. And that theory makes sense, but I can't believe that they're doing that. I mean, imagine that, how scurvy that would be, is that, oh, I need to force my entire population to go out and spend real money because the the, the, the item that they can buy for in-game money, we're not going to even allow the auction house to sell it. We're going to gobble it up with our bots and send that guy his 10, mil, his 10 million silver, the guy who spent real money, and everybody's happy. Well, no, not everybody's happy because people like me want to be able to buy those value packs. There's something fundamentally broken with a game. When you have over 2 billion silver and you can't buy an item in the game. That's 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 fundament, fundamentally broken in my in the way I look at it in Arc Age. You never had a problem. You could say any day of the week, I want to go buy a a month's subscription through the auction house and pay in-game money for it and you could do that any day of the week any time of the week it was always available well that's the other thing I wanted to point out is in our case they were always available because their player base was bigger and it's telling you something in this game when you don't see those value packs go up all that often. When I say I bid it on 200, I bid it on 200 over a few days. That nonsense would have never happened in Arc Age. I would have been able just to buy outright what I needed. So I wanted to talk a little about that because it's kind of unnerving that the game is like this. Either they're buying them up purposely or the game fundamentally is broken in the bidding system where a person should not have to make 200 attempts to buy a value pack. It just, it's just, that's just silliness. 
And they're going to drive the player base away. They're going to drive me away. I mean, you'll finally, I'll finally make a video where I'll say, basically, this is the last day I'm playing. Because that's the reality of games like this. Is if, they don't, if their platform is fundamentally broken, then it's time to move on to other games. That's just a reality. And I, I enjoy playing this game. I'll probably just take my account and put it up for the highest bidder. I mean, somebody might... I, I've got $119 invested in this game, and that's really all I want to invest in it. So if I could get that back, somebody would be able to get my character, and they would have $2 billion silver to use whatever they want. I mean, as long as they, you know, don't... You know, think they're going to be able to buy the value pack, you know, they don't mind paying $15 real currency to play the game you know that's great and there's a lot of people in this in this game that enjoy this game and am willing to pay the $15 I'm just not there's just not enough content for me in this game for me to shell out 15 bucks now if it had raids if it had dungeons if it had other things that I enjoy you know, I could probably get convinced to pay the 15 bucks, but uh, in this case, no. Revelation Online's coming out in a few months, cro fingers crossed, and that is similar to this game, but it has a little bit more PVE content, and that's what you know. That's what we're looking for now. It got past the 71 percent, so hopefully it takes this time. Maybe they fix their problem, and now you could probably say at work, "Well, Tarkas, thanks for the info, but look, it's fixed." <laughs> You know, before it kept on crashing at 71, so maybe, maybe they uh, fixed whatever file was missing in the download. Well, I want to thank you for watching my channel. I know there's some people out there that give me thumbs down because they think that by giving you uh, game secrets that I'm fundamentally breaking the community, that if everybody could follow my tips in my videos and everybody would have all the money they want. Well, guess what? Well, why not? I mean, that's better for everyone. I mean, it puts everybody on even ground. You know, there's no reason the secret lock, you know, little Easter eggs that allow you to make money in this game. You know, and I'm just able to systematically figure that stuff out. So for those people who give me thumbs down, that's your opinion, and, and I, I appreciate your opinion. But for the rest of the game population who normally gets home from work after hard days of work and only can play for three to, you know maybe three to four hours even less maybe only on the weekends those people kind of need these kind of tips so that they can stay ahead this game has no mechanism that you can stay par with everybody while you're offline like world of warcraft you could go you know log off in an inn and when you got back you got double experience bonus for a certain amount of time revelation online is going to be the same way in this game being offline you get absolutely nothing you actually fall further behind so for those people who watch my videos and appreciate the videos that i post to allow them to spend a little time making some money so they can go out to do the things that they want well that's what these that's what that's what my youtube channel is about okay well, thank you for joining me. It does look like this thing has gone past the 71%. I'm still going to post this video. And uh, happy holidays because that's what this uh, update looks like it's going to be about. Let's cross our fingers that it's better than the Halloween event because holy cow, that was disappointing. Well, thank you for joining me. This has been the Tarkus Zone.